China's space agency has made history. China is not just the first country to soft land twice on the far side of the moon. China is also the first nation to use a robotic probe, dig the moon's far side, collect samples and bring them back to Earth. Earlier, the Chinese capsule carrying an estimated 2 kgs of moon rocks and soil from the moon's far side landed in China's inner Mongolia region. This ended a mission that lasted about 56 days from the launch to return. For China, this is their sixth robotic lunar exploration mission and they call it Shangyu 6. China plans to do at least two more missions in this series and carry out further robotic exploration of Earth's nearest celestial neighbor. Interestingly, this mission landed at the South Pole, Atkin Basin, which falls on the far side of the moon. The moon's far side is the portion that never faces the Earth. So far, all missions have gone to the region that faces the Earth or the near side. While humanity knows a lot about the moon's near side, China will be the first to know about the far side. As I mentioned earlier, China has also collected soil and rocks for sampling, which in, it can study in detail, of course, now in sophisticated labs in the country. This could give China the edge in all future lunar exploration missions as well. With this achievement, China has actually surpassed even the United States and Russia when it comes to robotic exploration in the moon. On the moon, China's, China is not going to stop here. By 2030, China hopes to land their astronauts on moon, something that only America has done in the late 1960s and early 1970s. In fact, the ongoing race to moon is between America and China. The United States wants to return its astronauts to moon in what is called the Artemis program. They hope to establish long-term presence on the moon by 2030 off, with the potential of water ice reserves on the moon and possible existence of rare elements. Moon is the most sought-after destination for space, uh, space exploration. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.